First time I felt at home in the UFC was in Sao Paulo, Brazil, when I beat Damian Maia and left him in a pool of blood and then called them all filthy animals, and the place was a dump and, and left with uh, armed security guards from Brazil back to America. The first time I felt at home with the UFC was UFC 143, my very first fight in the UFC. The UFC had made me feel at home. It was amazing. They took care of me. Um, I really didn't have to think about anything. This is coming from uh, other promotions that didn't start on time, that, that uh, didn't take care of their fighters, so the UFC, my very first fight, UFC 143, it was awesome. A lot of people were trying to get me to come here and I just didn't have it. I kept saying no and no and no for years, many years, until the tryouts were here for the Ultimate Fighter season 13. And I said, now it's time. And it was a crazy experience to get here on the ride here. I won't go into detail, but it was the coolest shit. Um, got to stay in the presidential suite because a lot of shit happened and the people, they took care of us. So it was the icing on the cake right before we went into the tryouts and the tryouts was amazing. But that was my first experience. It was the greatest one. And uh, I went in there with a full boat of uh, information and the gumption to be able to do it because I had everything I needed for it from wins to hardware. I feel home right now, you know. But when you fight for UFC, it's very precious, you know. You fight for the best organization in the world. I think it takes two or three fights to feel at home in the UFC, so my first fight obviously was very nerve-wracking. Second fight, you got to prove it wasn't a fluke, so I'd say my third fight, I really felt like I started to belong. I've been in the martial arts since I was three years old, so I had my first fight at 15, and that's kind of where I, re I really knew that I was going to do this one day. And speaking of that, the very first time I ever saw the UFC was at UFC 3 in Charlotte, North Carolina. I was 12 years old, and I told my dad, my father then, who's my coach, I was going to do this one day. So I knew then and there that I was going to be a fighter. When I was very young, I played soccer, but I'm not good enough, you know. And when I go to the gym, I start to train in jiu-jitsu and everything. I see that's my word, you know, that's my word. And I, I keep training, I keep fighting, and uh, training Muay Thai, jiu-jitsu and everything. And uh, I'm, I'm, I understand very young, uh, I'm a true fighter, you know. I knew uh, combat sports was a fit for me when I was a little kid because I got bullied and I just loved to fight. So my mom grabbed my ear and she said, Kobe, you stop fighting in the streets. If you want to fight, fight for money. Go fight in the UFC. So that's when I knew that it was my destiny to be a UFC fighter and champion. I've been fighting my whole life. I grew up in a place where a lot of people weren't nice until I had to go and handle my business um, on the field and off the field. And off the field got me a lot of respect, um, but I didn't like it. It was more being on the field, but I had to handle a lot of shit, and uh, it wasn't easy growing up. But I beat it, like I said, I beat people on the field, which gave me a little bit more respect than it was off the field. But I've always grew up a fighter. I watched my, my, my dad uh, do the Tough Man contest, UFC 1 on VHS, which is cool as shit. And uh, I always knew I was gonna be a fighter. I'm a weapon. I grew up being a human weapon, and I'm very lucky that I had that under control. I think I started feeling like it was the right fit for me after my first fight, even though that amateur fight didn't go my way. Um, I'd never loved anything more than that fight, so I kept going and I made it all the way here. The most weird and unique thing in my home is probably me, because I'm a weirdo. I would say the most unique thing that I have in my home is I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. So I have Harry Potter, all the books, I have Harry Potter, everything, everything. Everything you think of at Harry Potter, I've got it. Wands, I've got the Marauder's Map, I got Time Turners. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, so I think that's probably the weirdest thing in my home. Which house would you be in? I am actually a Hufflepuff. I'm a Hufflepuff house, so you know, you know, a little Cedric Diggory going on. <laughs> A signed uh, picture from the President of the United States and a letter from the White House just noting, you know, my accomplishments and just showing how much of a fan that he was of me. But, you know, I'm the biggest fan of Donald Trump and I'm all about making America great again. To be honest, there's not much in my house because I just moved house. So uh, maybe the empty shelving and cupboards everywhere or my dog's eyes are pretty crazy too. The special thing, it's uh, like I, my emotion with my kids and my wife, you know. I love all the moment I live, you know. Uh, I think it's the best thing you have in your, your life is uh, in your home, you know. My animals, I have like a zoo. So I'm gonna keep building on that. I have a chinchilla, a turtle, bearded dragon. I have uh, I got three pain in the ass dogs. I got my, my kids, which are dope as fuck. They're, not, they're unique, I love my kids. They're not like anybody else. They wanna fight, but they're gonna be going to school full time and uh, most really unique thing in there, me. Welcome to our new home of pay-per-view. Main event and on KO. See you there. Keep watching.